Okay, we're gonna start again. There, I got Wilma on. Okay, we're gonna start straight up. Sometimes it, I think with join with video. All right, we're gonna go stretch over the to the right. And remember, you're kind of pulling down with that right arm to pull and stretch on this left side. All right, we're gonna go opposite way. Try really hard to keep that arm above your head. Don't let it come forward in front of your face. Keep it above your, to the side of your ear. All right, we're gonna rotate down. You go straight down. Just let it hang. Slight bend in your knee. Come back up. <clears throat> and go back down. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna go around in a circle. <clears throat> and really reach, reach to the side, reach down, out to the side and reach up. Three, one way, and then we're gonna switch and go the opposite direction. Good. If you can take it behind your neck, go ahead and do so. If not, if it's too tight, just have it here in front on your chest. But if it is behind, we're just going to do a slight twist. Try to keep that head neutral. Try not to turn it. All right, I am by Aspen. Um, all right, we're gonna go over or behind, I guess. Over and behind. We're gonna grab behind. We're gonna pull down. And then we're gonna pull up. And then let's pull down again. And then let's pull up. All right, we're gonna switch hands or switch arms. Yeah, so Wilma, if you don't have a cane, just pull your head, just pull your arm your, yep, your elbow back, there you go. All right, pull it down. <clears throat> pull it up. Pull it down. Pull it back up. All right, bring it back out in front. We're just gonna kite, kayak, or so kind of make a figure eight. <clears throat> Uh, all right, 
We're gonna put that pole down. Okay, we're gonna step away from it. Uh, Wilma, if you just wanna put your arms on your chair, on the back of your chair here, and then you can kind of pull away, just be careful and don't pull your chair over. And just hang, let that head hang between those arms. Sit back, push your butt back. Very good. All right, we're gonna do a calf stretch. So if you can prop your foot up, sorry, I'm gonna move my thing down just a little bit. Prop your foot up on the, and if you get it at a pretty good angle this way, um, it won't slide. Almost kind of like you're trying to stake it back at a 45 degree angle, then it won't slide. If you have to go to a wall or if you just want to go on the back of your chair and you can just do a runner stretch like this. If this isn't working for you. Switch. All right, we're gonna attempt a um, quad stretch. If you wanna just hold onto a chair next to you, that's, or a wall, that's totally fine. If you are using your pole, just make sure that it's over and in front of the leg you're picking up. It's probably just easier to hold onto the back of a chair. Again, try to have that knee pulled back and in line with your leg. Don't have it up like this or forward like that, pull it back. And you should feel the stretch here in the front of your thigh, and even up into your hip. All right, switch. Whew, my balance is something frightening today. All right, let's do a little bit, let's do a few ankle rolls on the floor. Just kind of mash that, ball your foot around. Make sure you go both ways, counterclockwise and clockwise. And then switch. Very good. Okay, for the first set of exercises, we're gonna actually keep the, um, the stick. We're gonna do a few um, pole work exercises. Excuse me. And then, um, and then we're gonna do a few wall exercises and then we're gonna go into boxing. Um, so what I wanna work on, hopefully Wilma, I thought Wilma had a cane. But maybe she doesn't. Okay, what we're gonna work on, I wanna work on, the pole is really good for helping to help us work on a flat back as we do exercises. So we're gonna work on just a hip hinge first. So I want you to put the pole on your back again, up, pretty much just up and down your spine. Your bottom, hand should be touching your, <clears throat> either your low back or your bottom. And then your upper hand can be <clears throat> is just grabbed up, it's just grabbing it up here. And it doesn't matter which hand, if you, if it's more comfortable to do it opposite, whatever is more comfortable, the hands don't matter. They're just there to keep the pole in place. 
So we're gonna do three sets of 10 hip hinge. I'm gonna show you from the side. So actually, I want the pole to touch my head, my back, and my butt, all of it. And the pole does not leave any of those spots. So if when I bend over and I start to do this and the pole comes away from my bottom, I know that I'm doing it wrong, that I am not keeping a flat back. So you have to, you have to kind of contort your body in a, in a position in which you can keep contact with your head, your spine, and your butt. So this is a hip hinge. It's just, you're basically hinging right here, which means your butt goes straight back. Your knees do not go forward, but straight back. All right, let's do 10 of those. So you gotta really make sure that you start to bend those knees and you push that butt all the way back. So we're gonna do 10 of those, ready? Go, one, and up. Go down again, two, and up. Down, three, and up. Four, and up. Five, and up. Six, and up. Seven, and up. Eight, and up. Nine, and up. 10 and up, good. Rest for a second. Woo, my uh, arm that's above my head is tired. I might have to switch it for the next one. Signs you're getting old. All right, I wanna do 10 more of those. And we, actually, I might just cut this down to two, 10 times time, two times two instead of three. All right, are we ready? Let's do 10 more, head, back and butt, all in contact with the stick. Go down one, two, it's almost like you're trying to pick something up off the floor, bending over, but we're doing it with a flat back. You gotta really stick that butt out. Roger, what number am I on? <laughs> Let's call that five. Six, okay. Dave, make sure you're bending your knees. There you go. Eight, nine, 10. Good. All right. Next, we're gonna go to a deadlift. So we're actually gonna use the pole because I want, because this is basically what we were just doing is that motion. So I want to try to do it, but we're actually gonna use the pull and we're gonna go straight down our shins and then we're gonna come up. But if you notice, when I go straight down, I have that nice flat back, okay? You want just a little bend in your knee and we're going straight down and straight back up. So we're gonna go to do 10 of those, okay? Ready? You want your feet about good, good shoulder width apart, but I'm gonna do it sideways so everybody can see. So try really hard to make your body do what it just did in the exercise before, your back. Ready, go. One, pull it up. Try to keep that head in neutral. Look down at the floor and then come back up. Five, six, and make sure when you're standing up, you're squeezing those butt cheeks to bring yourself back up straight. Nine, one more, 10. That was a guess, sorry, I was probably off on that a little bit. All right, we're gonna do one more of those. And then we're gonna do one more with the pole and then we'll be done with the pole. 
All right, 10 more of those deadlifts. Now you're, look, I'm literally keeping that pole, running it down my shins and back up, all right? And make sure you're really sticking that butt and going backwards, that hip hinge. If you have to, if you don't feel like you have it, go back to this. Because this is the same motion. If you don't feel like you're doing it right, go back to the stick behind your back, all right? All right, ready? 10 more, go. One. Two, this is, a flat back is kind of one of those muscle memory. Three things that you need to kind of train your body to do. It doesn't usually come easy. You have to work at it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I think just even just at home with posture, even just walking around <laughs> with a stick on your back helps improve your posture too. If you want, if you just, if you feel like your posture is really bad on a day and you just need a little check and you're getting it right, put the pole behind and just leave it there and walk around for a little bit. Man, it makes you stick straight. All right, last one we're gonna do, we're gonna do a squat. So for the squat, we're going back behind the back again. However, the, the um, part of the pole that's at the bottom should be above your, your butt or your bottom because we're actually gonna sit back in the chair. So you have to hold the pole just a little bit higher than, you, than normal. We're gonna sit, we're gonna sit to a chair, so have a chair behind you. And we're gonna sit back and then we're gonna stand up, all right? You just don't want that pole sit down here or you'll shove it up when you're ready, okay? Now, for some of you, this might be tricky. So you gotta, you gotta really think about those body mechanics. As you come forward, I still want that flat back. I don't wanna see this as you come forward. Now, I know that we teach you to do, um, you know, with the big movement up, but I still, it's still much better to, to try to do all of that with a flat back. So let's do 10 squats. Ready? Go. Down. One. Now you should be really using your legs to stand up. Two. Three. Good, Clark. Four. Five. Make sure as you come, if you sit forward, you hip hinge. You, you hinge at the hip. Get that weight over your knee, over your legs, and then you push straight up. I'm gonna call that seven. This is eight. Nine. You all know how bad I am at multitasking. 10, all right, rest for a second. We're gonna do 10 more of those. Good, Clark, that's much better. I know you were struggling a little bit yeah, on, what day is it? It's Saturday. On Thursday, we're standing up, so. All right, if you have to switch your hands, that's okay. Like I said, the one that's up above my head gets kind of tired. But again, we're just gonna make sure that the bottom of the pole is right above, in the small of your back, right above your butt. And we're gonna do 10 more squats. Ready? Go. One. Make sure that pole is against your head, your spine, and your sacrum, the bottom of the base of your spine. Three. I don't want you trying to pull your head forward to stand up. Try to keep that head glued to that pull. I'm gonna call that five. Six. Seven. 
because I just painted these walls and I don't want to put my hands on them. Um, we're going to do some push-ups against the wall. Um, Roger, you could probably use your, um, your ledge behind you if you want to. Um, just put your hands on, your on the ledge. Um, is that a treadmill next to you, Don? What's next to you? Oh, I'm trying to unmute it's you. There you go. It is a treadmill. Yeah, but I've well, got you it. Can, okay. Well, if you can use your you can use your arms on it if you want to. Yep. Sharon's got a nice pull. Clark. Yep. You can use a chair, please. Just be very careful about um, pulling it over. All right. Same with Wilma. All right. We're gonna do ten push-ups, and then we're gonna do ten push-offs. And I'll demonstrate those. So everybody knows push-ups. And then a push-off is where you actually push off and you catch yourself. Can everybody see that? Clark, though, is the only one that probably should not be doing push-offs on a chair or a Wilma. Okay, but a push-off is actually where you push off and you get some air between your hands and the wall and then you catch yourself and you come back down. So Clark, I don't know, can you find a wall somewhere, bud? I just don't like that chair makes me nervous or maybe even the back of the recliner. Those won't move, like go stand behind by the recliner. All right, 10 push-ups. Ready? Go. One. That's a safe way to do it too. If you have just a chair, just make sure it doesn't slide. You do it on your knees. All right? All right, ready? Clark, that might be a better option for you too. Just turn the chair around on your knees. All right, 10 of them, ready? Go! One, woo! Man, I pushed too hard. Don't fall over. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, good, eight, nine, ten, good. Sharon, I was going to also say you might close your barn door and you could always do it off your barn door too. I just don't want you to, as long as it's not going to hurt it. All right. We're gonna do 10 more push-ups and then 10 more push-offs. Ready? Go. One, two, just do push-ups. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're gonna do 10 push-offs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Woo! 
Those burn. Man, okay, you can get a drink. You can get your gloves on. I'm gonna get my timer set up. All right, everybody got, sorry, that was like, I had to do math. That made my head hurt. All right, this is gonna be boxing cardio round. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do a boxing combo with our left foot in front. Then we're gonna do a cardio something. Then we're gonna switch and do the same boxing combination, but with our right foot forward. And then we're gonna do another cardio thing. And then we're gonna go back and do left side, cardio, right side, right foot in front, okay? I'll try to, it's just to kind of get your brain going this morning. I'll try to remind you. Okay, so the first one with your left foot in front is a cross, Jab, cross, cross, jab, cross, okay? Three, two, Ready? one, go. Go, we're just doing this for 30 seconds. So try to get cross, jab, cross, cross, Jab 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 cross. Okay, now we're gonna do a bunny hop. We're gonna do a bunny hop forward, and then we're gonna try to do a bunny hop backwards. Bunny hop forward, bunny hop backwards. Now, if you have to just take a big step forward and then a big step backward, that's okay. Ready? Go. Bunny hop forward, bunny hop backward. Bunny hop forward, bunny hop backwards. Make sure you're landing on the ball of your foot. All right, back to the bag. We're going um, right foot in front. So then it's cross with your left, jab, cross. Cross, jab, cross. All right. Three, two, one, go. Ready, go. Cross, jab, cross. 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 Keep going. Cross, jab, cross. 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 Okay. Now, we're going to go over, punch, over. Over, over the head. Over, over. All right? Try to hug those ears as you go over. One, Ready? Go. 30 seconds. Go. Punch up. 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 Over. 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 
over, over, over. Try to keep that arm above your head. Three, two, one, rest. All right, go back to the bag. Combo number two with your left foot in front. Jab, double jab, cross. So you're throwing three jabs. Jab, double jab, cross. One, Go. Jab, double jab, cross. Jab, double jab, cross. Jab, double jab, cross. Left, 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 right. 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 All right, this one, we're going skaters. So big step, big step, big step. If you want to do it against a wall, just for some stability, that's okay too. Ready, go. Just big step side to side. And if you can kind of jump and balance. Three, two, one. All right, back to your bag. South paw, so your right foot is in front. So then it's jab. Double jab, cross. So it's right, 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 left. Three, two, one. Ready, go. go. Right, 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 left. 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 All right, now, next we're punching 45 degrees out front. Before it was over, this time it's 45 degrees. All right? Ready? Go. Try to keep your hands here by your chest. So you're just punching straight up, down, up, down. I feel like Jane Fonda with boxing gloves. Punch, 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 punch. Three, two, one. All right, going back to the bag. We're gonna do one more and then we'll take a little break. Left foot in front, jab, jab, cross, hook, hook. Left, left, right, left, right. Okay, go. Jab, jab, cross, left hook, right hook. 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 Left hook, right hook. Jab, jab, cross, left hook, right hook. Jab, jab, cross, left hook, right hook. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, next, Toyota box jumps. We're gonna touch the floor, and then we're gonna hop up. Touch the floor, hop up. You can't do that. Just Three, squat down, two, reach up. One, go. Squat down, reach up, go. Down, up, down, up. Three, two, one. Good. Rest. Okay, back to boxing. Right foot in front, jab, jab, cross, right hook, left hook. It's the opposite. Right, right, left, right, left. Go. Jab, jab, cross, right hook, left hook. 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 Jab, jab,
Jab, jab, cross. Right hook, left hook. Jab, jab, cross. Right foot, left hook. Right hook, left hook. Right, right, left. Right hook, left hook. Nice. All right, we're going sideways. Punch and straight across. For the next 15 or 30 seconds. 10, five seconds. Three, two, one. Ready? Go. go. Cross, 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 cross. If you can follow it with your eyes, that's great. Clark, probably not. Clark probably just looks straight ahead. Okay, get a quick drink, but come back with gloves because we got three more rounds of this. Woo, my hands are sweaty. All right, Clark's back. Just waiting on Wilma. All right. <clears throat> there she is. All right, we're start starting with our left foot in front. And we're doing cross, which is right, left hook, cross. Cross, left hook, cross. All right, are we ready? Three, two, one, go. Go, cross, left hook, cross. 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 Three, two, one. All right. Press. We're gonna do. We're gonna come out and do press jacks. So we're just pre We're just going straight up with our arms. And jumping out like a jumping jack. Now, if you want to step, step, come back, step, step, come back, you can do that. Go. Up, down, up, down. Step out, step back in. Step out, step back in. Step out, step back in. Good. Really trying to test everybody's coordination here. Punch up, punch up, up, up. Up, 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 up. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, rest, going back to the bag. Right foot in front. So now it's a left cross, right hook, left cross. Left, right, Three, left. Two, one, Ready? Go. go. Left cross, right hook, left cross. Make sure your right foot is in front. Left cross, right hook, left cross. Left cross, right hook, left cross. Three, two, one. All right, we're going back 
to the overhead punches. Squeeze that ear, squeeze that ear, squeeze that ear. All right? Three, two, two one. one, go. Reach overhead, overhead, overhead. Punch up, 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 almost punch into the ceiling. Try to keep your hands right here at your shoulders, okay? Then you just go up, down, up, down. Try not to let them hang. All right, next. Three left, left foot in front, three left hooks. Head, body, head. Just the left side. Left foot in front, left hook. Head, body, head. Left, body, head. Left, left, left. 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 Okay, now we're going to try to do some monster walks like we do in class. Big step. Big step, big step forward. And then if you can go backwards, that's good. Just do as many as your space allows. Even if it's just one, two forward and two back, that's okay. I can get about four in. 45 degrees, remember you're walking 45 degrees. All right, back to the bag. Right foot in front. Right hook to the head, right hook to the body, right hook to the head. Right foot in front. Three, two, one, go. Ready, go. Right hook, head, body, head. 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 Three, two, one. All right. Rest. Now we're going back to 45 degrees. Punch up and across the face. Try to keep your gloves right here. Then it's just back there, down, there, down. Okay, ready? Go! Across, across, 45 degree angle. I was going to say, make it harder, you could add a butt kick in if you wanted to. So now it's right uppercut, left cross, 
Ready? Go. Right uppercut, left cross, right hook. Right uppercut, left cross, right hook. Right uppercut, left hook cross, right hook. Right uppercut, left hook, right. Sorry, right. <laughs> right uppercut, left cross, right hook. Three. Confusing two, myself. One, rest. All right. Last fifteen minutes. Ha. Last fifteen minutes. Last fifteen seconds. I think the my, the oxygen is going all to my muscles instead of my brain. All right. We're going across. Three. Okay. Two, one, Ready. Go. Go. Punch across. Again, leave those gloves right here at your chest so you can make it faster and more rhythmic. Three, two, one, done. Done. I did count right on my thing. All right, gloves off. Get a drink. Come back to the chair. I was trying to unmute you, Jada. I've got um, I've got five sitting exercises, but we may, we may have to keep those for another day. I unmuted myself. Okay, I was trying to unmute you, and look how rosy my cheeks are, <laughs> and I'm glistening. Yeah, I think we'll save these sitting exercises for another day. Um, if you want to lay down, sorry, I told you to come back to the chair, but then when I got here and looked at the clock, I was like, um, so if you want to lay down, you can, we're just going to stretch. Um, if you want to sit, Clark, that's totally fine. Sharon, cause Sharon will be sitting as well. But I'll, I'll, um, I'll sit Sharon for you and then. Hopefully try to come back to. Do you want me to do the ones laying down? Oh, it, no, it's fine. I think they all know them well enough. I think it's fine. All right, so let's stretch out straight out when you get down there. I've had this little spot in my back that needs popped and I might have just gotten it laying over the back of the chair. Stretch way out. Whew. Couple pops there. All right. Hug your right knee into your chest. And you can twist that ankle. Roger's dog is like, oh, it's finally, it's finally stretching time. I can lay down next to you. Make sure you're on both ways with the ankle. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna kick that leg straight up. Sharon, you're going to kick that leg straight out, put that heel down on the floor. And you're just gonna do a nice bend, gentle bend forward. Try to keep that back flat. Remember that stuff we worked on way back at the beginning of class. All right, take that leg over. So Sharon, I'm gonna cross my leg. Not your right leg, okay. 
So you're going to take your left hand, your left hand, other hand, across. Raise your right hand, or raise your left hand, Sharon. There you go. Now take it across your thigh. Zigzag that way. On the outside, take it on the outside. There you go. Now you're gonna just do a little twist. So you're gonna pull those knees that way. And you're gonna twist to your right. There you go. All right, back down. Hug the left knee in. Don't forget, you can do some ankle twirls, circles. I just remember that myself. All right, kick that leg straight up. So Sharon, you're gonna put that left leg out straight, sit on the edge of your chair. And then you're gonna lean forward with a flat back. Try not to hunch over. Excuse me, try not to hunch over. All right, take that leg across. So Sharon, cross your left leg over. Raise your right hand. Take it across. Yes, and then you're gonna push that knee away. Yeah, and twist, good job. I should have said, raise your right hand and say, do you solemnly swear? To tell the truth, nothing but the truth. So help you God. All right. Uh, knees, or sorry, feet together. Let's do butterfly. So just put your feet together and we're gonna push those knees apart. If you're sitting, if you're laying down, bend your knees up. Feet flat on the floor, take those knees out. All right, opposite. So knees together, feet out. All right, for those of you on the floor, flip over to all fours. Sharon, looks like Sharon, Wilma, Dave. You guys can come to where your hands are on the seat of your chair. And it doesn't matter how the chair is facing. Clark, if you wanna come up, that's fine too. We're gonna to do cat cow. So we're gonna push that back, those shoulder blades up. Do about five of those. So make your back flat like a tabletop, almost push your chest to the floor, almost so it dips the other way, and then push into a cat or a camel or whatever you wanna call it. All right, kick one foot out, rudder stretch. For those with you with the chair, Sharon, you can go back to your um, bar. And we're just gonna put one foot back and push that heel to the floor.
Switch. All right, slowly come up. To your chair. Unmute all, you are all unmuted for the most part. Jada, you're gonna have to unmute yourself. Oh, she's stuck. <laughs> you should see her face and her stuck motion. It's kind of funny. Or maybe you could probably see it. <laughs> um, yeah, well, there she is, okay. You were like this. <laughs> Okay, um, hands in, let's do chant first and then I'll shut off the recording. Remember, big push, Dave, to stand up. Big push forward, there you go. Big step, there you go. All right, hands in. One, two, three, Good work. 